So you're new to smoking, you just went out and you purchased you a new master build electric smoker. Now you're excited to see how does it work and how do I cook on it? Well, you come to the right channel because today I'm gonna give you a quick down and dirty on how this thing operates. So stick around, don't go nowhere. But before we get started today, I'm Mike Baker of Baker's Barbecue. Hey, if you're new to the channel, if you would, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you ring that notifications bell where you'll be notified for all future videos as they come out. And I appreciate you stopping by today. So let's get to smoking. All right, so the first thing you do is just come up over here. Just open up the side, just like that. But the first thing I always do is always empty out this ash pan. And that's where your that's where your wood chips are gonna be dropping in. I've already emptied it out, just slide it back in. The reason you do that before you turn it on, it'll get hot and you'll have a hard time dumping it. But as you can see right there is your water pan. That's your wood chip tray, and below that is your electric heating coil. So what happens is the coils kick on down here. These wood chips are in here, and I'll show you in a second how you load it from the side. Put the wood chips in. As it kicks on, it gives it to smolder. And, of course, you got your water pan. It's going to add steam throughout the cooking process. And here on the side of the smoker, this is where you put your wood chips in. That just cools straight out. It's got the tray. As you go down in that, that little hole right there, it's gonna take you back into the, the chip pan I showed you a while ago. And then all we do is put wood chips in this, put it back in, and turn it to dump it into the tray, and turn it back into the upright position. All right, so the next step for me to do is go ahead and hit this power button right here. Once I get the power button put on, I'm gonna hit for temperature. And then from there, I'm gonna adjust it up to where I want it. Sorry to get in your way there, but I'm having a hard time seeing. So I'm gonna take it up to 240 degrees, which is what I'm gonna cook at today. Once I get it to where I want it, I hit the temperature button again. And then from there, I'm gonna hit the timer button. You have to select a time, because if you don't, it will not start up. So you collect the time, collect the minutes, and once you hit that, you're gonna see this red button come on. When this red button comes on, that means it's it's heating up and it's working. So you have to select your temperature and you've also got to select a time and that will allow it to kick on. So from here, we just wait for it to come up to temperature and then we'll be ready to get our uh, meat in the, in the smoker. So while we're waiting on this smoker to come up to temperature, I just want to do a quick comparison on the electric smoker compared to a pellet smoker. Both of them are, are electric uh, in the way that they both have to be plugged into electric outlet. A pellet smoker has an auger that moves the pellets into a firebox. In that little firebox is an igniter. That igniter kicks on, causing the pellets to smolder, and it goes up in temperature to whatever the upper limit you've set your temperature at for that particular cook. When it gets to the top, it kicks off, and then the pellets smolder and put off smoke as it comes back down in temperature to the lower set point, then it kicks on and does the whole process again. In the electric smoker, it works similar, but a little bit different in the fact that you gotta go ahead and manually load your wood like we showed you all ago in the wood in the wood tray. And as the heating cool it sits below that wood tray, as it kicks on, it causes the wood chips to ignite and it goes up in temperature to the, to the upper level of whatever uh, temperature range you've set it at. And while it's doing that, it's putting off smoke. When it gets to the top limit, it's gonna kick off, the coal will kick off. It will come back down in temperature until it hits the bottom set point of the range you've got to set at, and then it repeats the process as well. So both of them are electric driven. They both use some sort of uh, a wood for, for combustion and also for putting off smoke. And they both go up and down in temperature range and putting off smoke as it does that. So they're real similar, a little bit different. I find the electric smoker uh, maintains a good steady temp. You don't have to worry about the auger jamming up on you or too much stuff getting into the firebox and it timing out or anything like that. Here, it just kicks on, it runs, you put chips in it and it goes and it creates really, really, really good barbecue. So if you never tried one, I urge you to try it. Another good thing about this Master Bill Electric Smoker, this one here will go down to 100 degrees and it go up to 275 degrees. So it's really good for if you're cooking, if you've got an offset like I got back out there, you can see the big stick burner I've got. You can cook briskets on that, butts on that. And when they're done and you want to hold them, maybe two or three hours or whatever it is, you got guests coming or you just want them to rest 
for a long period of time where the, where the meat will taste better, then you can kick this smoker here down to about 160, 170, stick them in here and you can hold them for hours in this thing, uh, you know, stay hot. So it's got a lot of versatile uses. I urge you to get one, try it out. It's good to have uh, for all different kinds of reasons. And another thing I would add to is I usually allow about 30 to 45 minutes for this thing to come up to temperature. Uh, I, I usually don't put wood chips into it until I've already loaded my meat because it starts smoking real, rather quickly. So I, I go ahead and uh, fire it up, let it come up to temperature. I allow about 30 to 45 minutes in my, in my cooking timeline for that. Put the meat in and then I load in the wood. All right, so our smoker's up to temperature. We're gonna go ahead and get the pork loin in. Just gonna open up the door. Take that beautiful looking pork loin. Shut the door back on the smoker. From there, I'm gonna load the wood chips. Like I was saying earlier, just take out the tray. Give me some good chunks of wood here. Try not to get those big pieces, they won't fit in there. And down to the end, I'm actually using cherry wood today. I really like cherry. So we got it full. Now I'm just gonna take it, put it over here. Just push it back in, dump it into the tray, put it back in the upright position, and you're good to go. And there we go, so we got good smoke coming out. And you're gonna to continue to add wood chips for about every 30 to 45 minutes, uh, depending on what you're cooking, you know, for at least the first two hours. But uh, every 30 to 45 minutes, add some wood chips. I, let it, I usually let it go until it uh, stops smoking, and then I'll add some more, or I might just uh, go over 30 or 45 minutes and just add to keep that smoke rolling. So hopefully you've enjoyed the video today. Hopefully, as you're on your voyage to using your electric smoker, uh, becoming the great pit master you all want to be and we all aspire to be. Hopefully you saw some value in today's video and you enjoyed it. If you would, please hit that subscribe button. Make sure you ring that notification bell. So every time we have a video come out, you'll be notified. Until the next time I see you, happy smoking. <laughs>